You're watching Tag TV. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Surbhi Sharma and today in our episode of My India, we will take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of a country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. <music> Celebrated in the bright half of the Hindu calendar month Ashwin, which typically falls in the Gregorian months of September and October, Navratri is one of the most revered festivals in Hinduism. Though observed for different reasons and celebrated differently across various parts of the country, the core reason behind the celebration remains the same, that is victory of good over evil. So today in our series of cultural stories, let's have a look at this year's Navratri celebrations. People across the country got soaked into a number of festivities as a nine nights Navratri festival kicked off. While the eastern and northeastern states got busy with Durga Puja celebrations, the northern and western bell led to the enactment of a beautiful dramatic folk play, Ramlila, that celebrates the victory of Lord Rama over the demon king Ravana. Millions of devotees swarmed temples to offer prayers and observed fast as a part of the occasion that is dedicated to all nine forms of Goddess Durga, the destroyer of evil. Vaishnava Devi Shrine in Jammu and Kashmir's Katra town saw a heavy rush of pilgrims who turned up in large numbers to offer prayers and sought blessings. We are here for 25 years. I have been here for 23 years. I have been here for 7 years. We have been here for 30 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 years. Similar scenes played out in the capital New Delhi, where priests performed rituals and special prayers before the idol of Durga. Devotees dressed up in a crisp new clothes, made elaborate offerings to the goddess to appease her and prayed for the well-being of their loved ones. Today, the first thing is that the mother is the first place of the mother, the mother is the first place of the mother. और जो साधक जन हैं, जो साधना करते हैं, वो अपन आज अपने जो मस्तिष्क को मूलाधार चक्र में स्थित करके माँ शैलपुत्री की आराधना करते हैं, जिससे उनके इहलोक और परलोक में उन्हें जाए शुभ की प्राप्ति हो। Much enthusiasm was also witnessed in the southern state of Telangana, where Navratri is celebrated in the form of colorful floral festival known as Batukama. Batukama is basically a beautiful flower stack arranged with different unique seasonal flowers, mostly with medicinal value, arranged in seven concentric layers in the shape of temple Gopuram. For all the nine days, women in Telangana gather in large numbers in the open areas of the locality where they form a circle around Batukama and start singing folk songs by clapping their hands and making synchronizing steps in unison. Women seek good health, prosperity and happiness for their families and the songs they sing are to invoke the blessings of various goddesses. most beautiful colorful flowers festival in Telangana and uh, past from two years I'm attending Batakama festival and last year I'm done a song with that uh, it, it gives you know a more beautiful feeling and uh, it's like hundred uh, percent like women festival because it's all about colorful flowers and natural flowers festival and uh, I'm happy to be participate uh, in this event uh, 
Meanwhile, the Bhubaneswar city grooved to Dandiya beats as thousands of people gathered at one place to be part of Dandiya Ras, a social religious folk dance popularly performed in the festival of Navratri. People of almost all age groups participated in the event and danced to various Bollywood songs. बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है क्योंकि हर साल आते हैं यहाँ पर खेलते हैं कभी यहाँ कभी कटक तो ये ट्रेडिशन चल ही रहा है तो एंड हम लोग डांडिया प्रमोट भी कर रहे हैं अब ओडिया लोग भी पार्टिसिपेट करने लगे तो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है कि कल्चर प्रमोट हो रहा है In other parts of the country as well, the festival was marked by celebrations involving prayer, music and fasting among men and women. The festival holds immense importance in Hinduism. It is believed that during Navratri, Goddess Durga descends on earth to get it rid of demons and bless her devotees with happiness and prosperity. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit, but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. A glimpse of it can be very well witnessed in the dargahs of the Sufi saints. So today, we take you to one such dargah in Amritsar city of Punjab that has been for long acting as a bridge between different castes and communities. Thronged by the people of different faiths, the 300-year-old, Peer Baba Sheikh Fateh Ji Darga stands as a testament to communal harmony in the Amritsar city of Punjab. Regarded as the contemporary Sufi saint of Chishti order, Baba Sheikh Fateh is said to have spent his entire life working for the welfare of humanity. Today, his shrine is thronged by the devotees from different parts of the countries. I have come here for 4-5 years ago, where the people come from far and far, like the Kashmir, the Pandit, Muslims, and the people who came from all kinds of people, and they came from a peace and peace, where the Khir ka prashat chadha ya jata. The Darga holds a special place in the hearts of local Jat community who offer Kheer to the saint every time when their cows or buffaloes start with their new lactation period. Along with them, the devotees, whose wishes get fulfilled, also offer this rice pudding, which is then distributed among all devotees who visit the Darga. Besides, a langa service, which is basically a Sikh tradition, also runs in the Darga, where devotees, irrespective of their caste and community, can have food. I came here to eat the 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 food. For the last several years, the Darga of Baba Sheikh Fateh has been playing a key role in strengthening secularism and promoting peace and harmony amongst all religions. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Students and elderly recently marked the 150th birth anniversary of India's iconic freedom fighter, Mahatma Gandhi, hoping to make a better future. Children in Nagpur city of Maharashtra dressed up as Mahatma Gandhi and his followers and Bharat Mata, the mother goddess form of India as a nation and marched on the streets. We ये अपना कर आगे चलना चाहिए, बढ़ना चाहिए और किसी की भी हिंसा नहीं करनी चाहिए। At Varsova Beach of Mumbai, people gathered to utilize their national holiday by cleaning the beach. Students and elderly alike took pledges of cleanliness and minimizing the use of plastic and reduce, reuse and recycle it wherever possible. Children conducted a peace march in northern Ludhiana city, promoting the idea of global peace and discouraging the use of plastic in the country. India observes the 2nd October not only as Gandhi Jayanti, but also as International Day of Non-Violence, the ideal that Gandhi fought for throughout his life. B 
meeting all odds of age, a 37-year-old homemaker from Vadodara city of Gujarat recently got crowned as Mrs. India. The newly crowned Mrs. India, Pooja Desai, won the title after competing with over 4,500 participants from across the country. Women should have a right to choose their lives and what they want to do with their lives. They cannot be the ones who always listen to the shots called by others. Mrs. India is a sought-after title among the married women and it gives a platform to them to pursue a career in the fashion and entertainment industry. Hindu devotees thronged monkey god Hanuman's temple in Amritsar city of Punjab on the occasion of the beginning of a 10-day monkey fair. The unique annual tradition at the Bada Hanuman temple in the city is very ancient and large crowds of devotees turn up dressing their children as the soldiers of Hanuman's army. जिस पूजन में परिक्रमा में बैठे हुए कम से कम 200 से 250 पंडित बैठते हैं और वो पूजा करते हैं अब जैसे विधि विधान से पूजा होती है गणेश जी का पूजन करके पोशाक की प्रतिष्ठा की जाती है और स्नान करके बच्चों को पोशाक पहनाई जाती है उसके बाद वो रंगूर बनते हैं यहां पे आके बाबा जी को शेरा प्रसाद और नारियल चढ़ाते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू अ बिलीफ व्हेन चाइल्ड्स पीपल प्रे एट द टेंपल फॉर एन ऑफस्प्रिंग द विशेस आर फुलफिल्ड when they get a child, they bring him to the fair, dress him up as a monkey soldier as a sign of gratitude to Hanuman. Moreover, it is also believed that sons of Hindu god King Ram, Love and Kush, who were living in exile with their mother, tied Hanuman to a tree at this place when he came to free a royal horse. Since then, the idol is here for people to pray. Tokyo is gearing up to host 2020 Olympic and Paralympics and Japanese companies too have been contributing their bit. Presently, Panasonic Spa Assist Suit is assisting the spotters with loading suits. On the other side, Nippori's textile town in Tokyo is emerging as a hotspot among tourists. The Tokyo International Forum hosted a test event for para power lifting as a part of preparations for 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games. The sporters wore Panasonic's power assist suit to assist with loading weights and sporting the competitors to enhance safety and precision. Eri Yamamoto won the gold medal in power lifting. で、ここで3キロ上げてきめたら通せていただいたんですけど、元々の今日の目標は私65キロだったので、あの、自分の思い描いた目標にはやっと一歩届かなかったんですけれども、ま、収穫としては the Japanese Para Power Lifting Federation and Panasonic have worked on adjusting the power assist suit to fit the needs of the tournament. で、the power assist suit decreases the burden of the spotters and help tournaments to run smoothly. Kare 
、えー、具体的な動きを彼にやっていただきますしゃがみます起き上がるときに腰を起き上げてくれる機能を持っています、えー、腰の痛みを防ぐ、えーまあ、そういったロボットになりますあのパラリンピックの、まあ、会場を満席にしたいという思いがまずありますでどういう技術を使って、まあ、満席にするのかということなんですけれども、まあ、私はもともと、まあ、ロボットの技術者ということもあって、まあ、ロボット技術で、まあ、満席にするような活動ができたらもうこれほど幸せなことがないと思っています、まあ、第一歩が2020であって振り返ってみたら2020年の時があの社会の切り替え点変化点だったなと。This advanced technology will definitely grab attention at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games, further enabling it to create its name worldwide. Next, we take you to Tokyo's Nippori district, which is famous not only among Japanese tailors, but also among foreigners, especially ladies who like to sue. There are dozens of clothes shops here that sell everything, ranging from expensive Japanese silk fabrics to traditional kimono ropes. More than 90 large stores gather here to sell wholesale and retail fabrics, and each store specializes in a kind of fabrics and sewing accessories, like this shop, which sells only buttons. 弊社はボタンを扱っているお店でして、約種類でいうと約5000種類以上取り扱っております。そのうち、主には日本国内で製造をしている高品質のボタンから、でデザイン性が高いものに関してはヨーロッパの方でから輸入しております。It is said that here you can find the largest selection of sewing accessories in the world. And in addition to displaying Japanese products, many shops offer imported fabrics from Europe, Italy, Germany, Switzerland, and France to provide the customers with best choices. The hands are working on the work. The hands are そして外国の人がお土産に買っていく。These unique shops in Nippori are very popular among tourists who are looking for unique fabrics and clothing items. Lovely place and I love all the shops, all the fabrics, all the buttons. This is what we came to Japan to see, all the beautiful fabrics. Nippori is one of the first stops from Nasha Airport, making it a convenient place to visit and shop the varied and exquisite collection of textiles in Japan. Quality is higher than, than in Taiwan, and the, the price is better in Taiwan. Many Japanese customers also buy from these fabric stores and are knowledgeable about variety of different styles. Shumi de, ano, iroiro to, tsukuttari, handmade de tsukuttari shite ru nade, sono, kiji o kai. Kono, kiji no tori o, ko, kai mono suru no ga tanoshi ni de, ha, kite mas. Even for people who do not know how to sew, visiting Nippori can be a great adventure to experience Japan's textile culture. Every festival in India represents a sense of brotherhood and syncretism beholden among the diversified population of the country. Emboldening this fact, Muslim artisans from Uttar Pradesh travel all the way to Surat city of Gujarat. To make the effigy of Ravana that will be burnt on the Hindu festival of the Shara. Various artisans across the country have started working relentlessly to prepare the tall effigies of Ravana that will be burnt on the occasion of the Shara. In Surat city, too, similar scenes can be observed but with sweetness of communal harmony. As here, it is the Muslim artisans that have come from different cities of Uttar Pradesh. To make the effigy for their Hindu brothers. From designing the structure to the final painting of the effigy parts, everything is done by them. ये हमारे कारीगर जो है मुस्लिम रहते हैं जो मथुरा वृंदावन और गाजियाबाद से आते हैं और बिना भेदभाव के जो है उतनी भाव से जिस प्रकार हम हिंदू लोग जो है 
भाव के साथ जो है उत्सव मनाते हैं उसी प्रकार ये भी रावण का या किसी भी पुतले का जो भी बनाते हैं वो सब जो है भाव से बनाते हैं इसलिए जो है ये सब कार्यक्रम जो है ना भाईचारे के साथ ही चलता है इसमें कहीं मुस्लिम और हिंदू की बात नहीं आती है Making these effigies requires a lot of dexterity as one has to assemble the large parts together and plant the firecrackers inside them but these artisans do every piece of work with immense devotion this time these artisans are making a 65 feet tall effigy of ravana few artisans say that it's their ancestral work which they have been carrying forward dharm sab barabar hain aur ye hamara khandani kaam hai दादा परदादा हम लोग सब यही करते चले आ रहे हैं हमारे बच्चे भी इसी में हैं इसलिए हम कोई भेदभाव नहीं मानते हैं क्योंकि जो है ये तो ईश्वर ने बनाया है एस दशहरा मार्क द एंड ऑफ रावना एंड कमोमोरेट्स द विक्ट्री ऑफ गुड ओवर इविल अ सिमिलर मैसेज स्प्रेड बाय दीज मुस्लिम आर्टिसन एज वेल हु फॉर यर्स है रावना ऑफ हेट्रेड एंड वायलेंस एंड प्रमोटिंग पीस एंड कम्यूनल हार्मनी इन द सोसाइटी Giving an adrenaline rush to adventure junkies, the 15th edition of the Hero MTV Himalaya was recently organized in the hill town of Shimla in Himachal Pradesh. Aimed at promoting Shimla as a tourist destination and encouraged by cycling as a sporting challenge, this seven-day expedition take riders to the most remote areas where they get to experience Indian culture and extreme adventure. To experience the true wilderness of the Himalayas, a total of 98 participants including 27 from other countries recently made their way to the Queen of Hills Shimla to be part of the 15th edition of Mountain Terrain Biking or MTB Himalaya Expedition. Jointly organized by Hatspa, Himalayan Adventure Sports and Tourism Promotion Association, along with State Youth Services and Sports Department, the expedition was flagged off by the Governor of Himachal Pradesh, Bandaru Dattatreya, from the heart of city, the Reach. Bikers from around 17 countries took part in this week-long cycling race, where they had to complete a distance of 482 kilometers. having an elevation of up to 12000 meters वर्ल्ड में भी सबसे बड़ा एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट साइकिलिंग है और हिमाचल में इसकी अपार संभावनाएं हैं जैसे कि सब लोग यहां कहते हैं कि हम एडवेंचर स्टेट हिमाचल को बनाना चाहते हैं तो साइकिलिंग उसमें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एक रोल प्ले करेगा और जैसा कि वर्ल्ड वाइड हमने स्टडी करा है जैसे कनाडा में ब्रिटिश कोलंबिया में अमेरिका में जो जो जहाँ जहाँ इन्होंने साइकिलिंग को प्रमोट करा है वहाँ की टूरिज्म इकोनॉमीज और एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स इकोनॉमीज को काफी बढ़ावा मिला है एम टी बी हिमालया इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट रेसेस इन दर्ल्ड इट टेक्स टू राइडर्स टू द अनटच पार्ट ऑफ द हिमालयाज बसलिंग टाउन एंड विलेजेस अक्रॉस स्ट्रीम्स ऑल सेट अमेट द ब्यूटी ऑफ द माइटी हिमालयाज This time the expedition took the riders to the districts of Shimla, Kulu, Mandi and finally concluded at the paragliding destination Birbiling of the Gangra district providing them with a lifetime experience to cherish. I think it's so exciting to see where mountain biking is going. There's just so many more people participating and worldwide the competition is just growing. So, you know, with mountain biking being a, an international sport, an Olympic sport, I think the potential is just fantastic and it's so great to see so many Indian people participating in the race and growing the sport here in India as well. So this is my first time at MTB Himalaya. Fell in love with the country. Absolutely love it. The hospitality has been brilliant. The food is fantastic. My senses have been awakened. The people are lovely and I can't wait to start. Absolutely wonderful. MTB Himalaya is not just a contest to ride over the mountains, survive and be called a winner, but there is a lot more to it that can help you make good memories, fall in love with the mountains and create an urge inside you to conquer them again. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at suggest.myindia@gmail.com. 
I'm your host, Surbhi Sharma, and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.